Aloha, everybody. This is Kathy Bilski, the Quantum Leap Let Light Unite show on UPR and radio. And this is May 4th, 2018. Tonight, we are going to do light work for the earth and um, for the Arctic poles, for radiation. And I'm going to ask that when we do the work, you just join and do a lot of creative visualization today with me. Um, before we go into doing light work, I just want to touch base with everybody and go, hey, who needs dental work? Mm. And, you know, I've been talking about Sani Dental. This is dental tourism down in Mexico. And um, let's see if I can show Oh, you. All right. That's what my mouth looked like before I went down to Sandy Dental. And they already put the crowns on the bottom teeth. And uh, this is what they did. And I feel like I'm one of my grandkids putting my face up to the camera. Pretty cool, huh? And I got 22 crowns, three teeth pulled, two root canals, and a, a back bridge for under 5,000. So they make dentistry really, really affordable. And they are located below Yuma, Arizona. If you fly into Yuma, they pick you up in a shuttle. And depending on how much money you spend on your dentistry, you get time off from, you get free nights in their hotel, which really adds up. I had five free nights, which came out to about $250, which I put back into my teeth. Um, I could not have done this in the United States. It would have been about thirty-five to forty thousand dollars worth of dental work here, which is just way beyond my budget. So not only did they um, fix my teeth, they gave me new teeth and got rid of the infection that I had, and that's why my face was so fat all the time. And now it's back to looking normal. Um, yeah, I feel better. I feel like I'm on speed. Um, it's amazing what happens when you get your teeth fixed. And I'm telling you because the dentists in the United States have pretty much of a monopoly going because they feel and up until now that they've not had any competition. Well, they do. And it's in Mexico. So I'm telling you all about it. So, you know, there's an alternative. And honestly, if somebody would have told me years ago, I could have gotten my crowns done for $180 or less, I probably would have gotten it done back then because it was affordable. So yes, they made it very affordable. And if you want to look them up, you can go to Sani, S-A-N-I, dentalgroup.com up on the internet. And when you do decide to go see them, tell them Kathy Bilski sent you. All right. That's all I ask. Okay, so we're going to do some light work and some energy work tonight. Um, we're going to work on healing the Arctic poles and the glaciers. We're going to work on radiation and um, the harp. So what I'm going to ask is a little bit more um, group participation tonight. And that when I actually start um, saying the energy work, that you actually visualize it. Well, whew, sorry about that. I am in my store. You can see my big earth keeper behind me amplifying our work. And unfortunately, this is in Honoka'a, um, what they call first um, Friday of the month, where they usually do a little affair. And also, um, as we're talking about Hawaii, you may have heard that Hawaii's volcano is going off. Well, it's true. But one of the purposes of the volcanoes is when they actually start spinning their stuff, their magma up into the air, it actually helps cool down the planet. So, you know, there's trade-offs to everything. And when something in nature goes off like this, there's so many levels we don't see. But... You know, here in Hawaii, because most people do honor the land, the volcano, when she does erupt, is pretty gentle and gives people enough time to get out of the way. So we're going to see if we can just kind of redirect it a little bit more so it really doesn't harm or hurt any homes or 
um, life and goes right into the ocean. So when I'm doing this work tonight, I'm just going to ask that you just really visualize it, okay? So we can really manifest this. Okay, so put. I want you to sit down and sit as straight up as you can because then you're connected to the creator and really pulling in that high divine energy. You can put your hands in your lap right now. And when we're doing this, because we're going to create a bubble of light in the center and we're going to imagine we're in this huge stadium that's just filled with people of like mind and we're all connected through the heart. So I want you to just quickly imagine in your mind's eye that you're holding your neighbor's hands because you got people to the right and to the left of you. And as you connect with the creator and this energy just pours through your body, it goes all the way down your legs, out your feet into the earth and down your right arm and your right hand into your neighbor. And that energy is going to flow in a circle. And as it flows, we're also going to call in all the divine beings, which are going to do that um, in like a few minutes in just real detail. Um, all the gods and goddesses, the archangels, air, earth, fire, and water to add their energy to what we're doing tonight. And now we're going to send energy to the left. So the circle is closed. So only that which is light may enter. We're going to ask that the trees take this energy and send it into the earth so she can take it and heal herself and put herself back into balance in a gentle, kind, loving way. And then out through the tree's branches, imagine our energy going out that way so all life forms can feel this high divine energy and really propel us in toward enlightenment. So we call to all the rock stones, crystals, minerals on the planet, all the earth keepers to lock in to the big earth keeper that we have put in the center of this um, stadium that's over 100 ton. And if you want to get an idea what it can look like, look at the crystal behind me. And that's my 1,000-pound earth keeper crystal, Ela. And she's responsible for helping one awaken to the elemental kingdom. All right, so imagine she's there, but amplified a hundredfold to amplify our work over a hundred thousand fold. And we call to all the grids, ley lines, meridian stones, obelisk pyramids, all the sacred and holy spots on the planet to lock in to our circle tonight. And Mother, Father, I'm going to ask that everyone that participates tonight actually receives the healing and that you guide us into doing that our will but thy will be done so be it <sighs> so imagine yourself releasing the hands and you know while we're doing this if you want to put your hands up and direct it toward this bubble of light that we're creating you can do that or just imagine this high energy flowing out your third eye your throat and your heart chakra into this bubble of light amplifying the work that we're doing so we're going to start with the healing on the arctic poles and the glaciers all right so let there be light in the name of the presence of god which i am through the magnetic power the sacred fire vested in me i command we call the lord ganesha the remover of obstacles to go forth and remove all obstacles in our path to divine creation i call the lord shiva and michael the archangel to go forth and destroy all evil in our path or in the path of our creation I ask that all old thought forms, idea, concepts, prophecies, past, present, and future that is holding this energy work from manifesting be dissolved by the violet flame and replaced with new possibilities. I call to the architect of universes, divine creators, the animals, insects, higher selves, over souls, avatars, masters, angels, and guides, all gods and goddesses of light are ancestors of light. All the old ancient cultures responsible for holding light on the planet, including the Aborigines, the Kahunas, the medicine men and women, the shaman, air, earth, fire, and water, all earth divas, all cosmic beings, all other life forms and consciousness in earth, and all other stars and planets, and all other galaxies, seen and unseen, to join us in helping us heal and repair the earth now. 
We ask for permission to quantum leap the world and all life forms and all planes and dimensions seen and unseen connected with planet Earth into divine enlightenment to let us go beyond our known potential into the greatest unknown golden age the universes and worlds and all planets have ever experienced. Let us take the best of all lifetimes, all golden ages, all worlds, galaxies, and create such a divine enlightened planet that is even beyond the creator's imagination. Imagine the creators laughing with joyful glee on this action we have put into motion with every breath we now breathe. And this work is snowballing, quantum leaping forward with every movement. So we call to all the rock stones, minerals, and all the earth keeper crystals above and below the earth to now awaken, reconnect themselves back to the divine, and start to vibrate to the higher frequency of the divine, raising the energy and vibration of everything that is connected to the earth to the frequency of the divine creator. Let's anchor this energy to the center of the earth, radiating outward, giving special attention to the Arctic, Antarctic, Arctic, and all glaciers, putting them back into balance. We ask that all crystals join us and amplify our energy work over a hundred million fold. Let us shift it and may this integration be gentle, loving, and kind for all forms of life, human and elemental. I call to Michael the Archangel and ask that all negativity that the water elemental has taken on. Be cut from the water. So I want you to imagine the water elemental in this bubble of light. And we're going to ask that again, Michael, the archangel, cut all negativity that the water elemental has taken on. And it be cut from the water, transmuted by the violet flame and filled with so much love as the water elemental now reconnects to the creator. So let's imagine this beautiful divine healing energy coming down from the creator and flowing into all water, whether it is liquid or frozen in the form of snow and ice on the planet. We call the violet flame through the methane gas in all the water, oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, and in our drinking water to transmute that energy, healed with the energy of the angelite. Now we reconnect all the molecules and atoms that create create methane gas back to the creator. We command them to be neutral, to simply revert to healthy water, yet allow for the proper amount of methane. The earth needs to remain in the planet, buried under heavy permafrost. So now we're going to send this healing energy through the waters. And I want you to, in your mind's eye, imagine this energy neutralizing all radiation poisons, methane gas, chemicals, all toxins, and pharmaceutical drugs that are in it, and radiation. This healing energy is also helping the water circulate so that it's a perfect divine temperature. Now, in your mind's eye, I want you to see millions of huge bottles of clean, pristine mineral water that are 10 miles high, 10 miles long, and 10 miles wide, and are inches apart from each other all over the oceans and waters including the Arctic, the Antarctic Oceans, and all the zones in the oceans that science has considered the dead zones. Cancel clear. Inside these bottles of pristine oxygenated water, let's place all the minerals, plankton, kelp, and whatever else the sea life needs to have to survive. See these bottles becoming sanctuaries for all sea life to go to. We now command the water elemental to mirror the bottles of water. We see the ocean clearing up in your mind's eye. See the oceans clearing up and becoming healthy and vibrant again with an abundance of flourishing, healthy sea life. Now we're going to bury hundreds of thousands of frozen bottles of pristine water filled with minerals and a little bit of sand. And we're going to bury that in the snow on all the glaciers and Arctic circles and command the snow to mirror the frozen water. Now see the snow becoming very solid, magnetizing more snow to itself and keep accumulating. Now the sand gives the water frozen snow, um, the molecule, the frozen snow molecule, something to grip to allowing the elements to go back to their natural growth cycle and balance 
with the earth. Now, during the summer, which is from here on now, okay, through till um, late fall, we're going to place an invisible shield on top of the oceans to reflect any excessive sunlight back into the air, into the violet flame to transmute any excessive heat energy, allowing that energy gently to cool down and dissipate. This allows the oceans to keep at the proper temperature that is in alignment with the Earth's natural seasons and temperatures. We ask that the ocean's soul memory of being a master builder is activated and reconnected to the divine, recreating nature's true balance and temperature. Now send energy through the Atlantic Gulf Stream, allowing the Gulf Stream to flow at its correct speed that is in alignment with the earth. We call to the mountain elemental, the air, water, and fire elemental that creates the jet stream to hear our requests. We call to Michael the Archangel to cut all ties and remove all overlays that are keeping you from working in divine harmony to help put the planet back in balance. As this energy is removed, you're set free from your dark restraints. We call the violet flame to transmute any negative energy that you had taken on back to light. We now reconnect you back to the creator and fill you up with so much light. You remember your true natural state that is in harmony with the divine. For the mountain glaciers, we send this very cold energy starting miles beneath them. The higher up the mountain the energy goes, the colder it gets, allowing the water elemental to stay in true frozen form and being able to magnetize snow to it, turning that snow to ice and growing again, fulfilling your divine purpose of giving people and the planet the water it needs, as well as helping the planet stay at its proper temperature. As the wind blows up the mountain in the form of a jet stream laden with water molecules, we ask this jet stream to slow down to its natural speed that is in in alignment with the earth. See the jet stream and water elemental work with the mountain by releasing this moisture to the mountain in the form of snow, which the mountain joyfully takes and creates more ice and the ice grows. Now in your mind's eye, See the glaciers and everywhere where the ice is supposed to be growing, start to grow again. Now, as the jet stream travels over the mountain glaciers, it goes right into the stratosphere, right to the Arctic polar vortex and flowing in a perfect circle around the vortex that is in perfect harmony with the earth because the jet stream released her water back to the mountain. Now she's able to help the Arctic cool down to the perfect temperature that is needed to be in perfect harmony with the planet. Now, if you haven't figured it out, this bubble of light is for um, climate change also. And I've had to um, categorize it, okay, because there's so much involved with the climate. So now we're going to give our attention to the permafrost. Now, everywhere there is permafrost, we're going to send a very cold energy that keeps the temperature that stays at or below zero zero Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Under the Earth's soil, we see a layer of pure ice that forms under the soil called segregated ice forming from two meters to 10 feet thick. Now, imagine the segregated ice forming and as the poor ice attracts more water which freezes and attracts even more water, which creates the effect that's called chirosuction. Now, the chirosuction makes the frozen layer grow, and the growing layer expands the soil even more, making the permanently frozen ground expand by 50% or more. Now, we're going to send extra energy into the snow and ice so it can reflect more heat away and stay frozen. We now call to the elementals that create permafrost, the water between the rocks, the pebbles, loose sand, and the soil that allows the ice to easily form when combined, which creates poor ice and all the frozen rocks to work in divine harmony, keeping the permafrost frozen. So we're going to call to the older, deeper permafrost that is underneath Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. Now, the subsea permafrost, that's more than 500,000 years old. 
And we're going to ask it to link up with all the permafrost on the planet, teaching them how to hold their form. And we command that all permafrost mirror the subsea permafrost. Now again, see the temperature of the ground consistently staying at or below zero Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So let us now send energy to the continuous permafrost that exists under almost the entire land surface in an area. Areas with continuous permafrost have often have permafrost layers more than 100 meters, 330 feet thick. So we're going to call to the deepest permafrost ever found, which is in Siberia. And that's a region in northern Russia where the area in Siberia has a permafrost layer that extends down more than 5,000 feet. We ask that this old ancient permafrost communicate with all permafrost and help them remember how to hold their form. Again, see the temperatures of the ground consistently staying at or below zero Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now we're going to work with the old and new sea ice, especially the sea ice in the Beaufort Geyer and the Fram Strait. Now the Beaufort Geyer is this bay that the ice, it's like a nursery for the ice, okay, on the planet. And that's why we're giving this attention. So we call to the air, earth, and fire elemental to support the water elemental, to work in together in harmony to support the format of old ice that provides a basis of ice that creates everything it needs to support all life forms on the poles. So it may fulfill its missions of keeping the planet cool, yet allowing the water to warm up at the equator, yet cool in the Arctic, keeping the planet and all life forms in balance. Now we send these elementals many blessings and grace for working with us and trying and keeping the climate in balance. So we're going to put energy blocks up in the water and air to hold the old icebergs from flowing through the Fram straight into the ocean, keeping the old ice in Arctic waters so they can grow and mature. Now the ice is going through post-traumatic stress and it's really having a hard time holding its form. So we're going to call the energy of the homeopathic um, rescue remedy down into the old ice that permeates its atoms and molecules going into the water's DNA to help it release all trauma it has taken on. Now we're going to anchor the violet flame through these areas to transmute the CO2 gases around the old and new ice and actually everywhere around the planet. Send a cold Arctic energy that is minus 57 Celsius through the old ice to help it retain its form. So we're going to call to the old ice asking that your memory of old ancient ice is activated. So you remember your mission, hold your form and allowing yourself to magnetize to you that which you need to grow. Allowing the old ice also to join together so it may heal itself and grow stronger, keeping solid in, the, in their frozen form. We ask the old ice now to communicate with the new ice in Bralford Geyer, feeding it with the information it needs to become old ice and hold its form. We command the young ice to mirror the old ice. Now we're also going to send energy into the water that will slow down the ice from drifting out of the Arctic, keeping it in the Beaufort Geyer, allowing the young ice to mature, allowing turning into old thick ice. See the young ice staying drifting in the Arctic for five to 10 years, growing and maturing. Send an Arctic energy through the new ice, and again, that's minus 25 degrees Celsius, so it can hold its form also growing thicker. Now we're going to give attention to some of the glaciers, all right? And it, they're called Thwaites is one, Pine Island is one, Cork is one, Haynes is one, Smith, Pope, and Kohler glaciers. Now the Thwaites 
Glacier is some of the largest ice stream in West Antarctica, and it's the melting of these glaciers that's really putting the water, um, you know, because they're melting so much and how they're melting. Um, so we're going to give them some attention. Now, these glaciers are composed of large masses of landlock ice that hold back even larger masses of ice, keeping them from sliding into the sea. So we're going to send a very cold Arctic air that is minus 25 Celsius into the glaciers to help them keep their form and grow. Now see the drainage pattern shifts from flowing streams back to swamp-like waterways. Now this is under the glaciers. Now under the Thwaites and all glaciers, now these swamp-like waterways slows the acceler accelerating water rush toward the sea. So in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine the swamp-like waterways filling up with more dirt and minerals it needs to grow again, slowing the glacier water from flowing into the sea, thus weakening the glacier. Send this cold energy into the grounding line of the glaciers that stops it from shrinking and that will help accelerate the growth of the glaciers. So we're going to send a very cold energy into the waters below the glaciers. See all the glaciers stabilizing, slowing down, starting far and inland, going towards the ice shelf where the glacier meets the sea. See the ice shelves thickening, holding, holding their form. Now in your mind's eye, see the glaciers stabilizing and again growing. So now we're going to direct a very high energy at the harp and any supercomputers that are heating up the ocean and interfering with the high and low pressure flows over the Arctic. So I want you to focus on all these computers that belong to the harp projects. And as we focus on the computers, imagine all the ones and zeros just flipping. Flip, 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 flip. Everybody's going to flip them. At different times, just flip them, and it's going to create a total breakdown, which will result in the Mother Earth being given a chance to go back to her natural rhythm and proper balance. Now, we're going to send the elementals many blessings and grace for working with us, keeping the climate in balance. And again, every time anybody looks at this or hears this prayer, whether they read it or it's through... Um, YouTube or you know, watching the video, let it be amplified over a hundred thousand fold. So we're going to take, fill this up with light and love, and we're going to take a deep breath and release it. So we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And this is kind of a two for, so we're going to put Washington DC in this bubble and the Fukushima nuclear facility. And when I was in um, Washington a couple of years ago, I went around and I threw crystals all over and created a crystal grid. So we're going to activate that again. Let there be light. Let's synchronize our intention to activate the crystal grid to stop evil choices from being made by the people coming into the grid field of the crystals, activating their Christ consciousness. They are now able to make decisions for the highest good of all. See people putting divine enlightenment in action in all aspects of their lives. We call to Michael the Archangel to cut all ties to all negative male patriarchal energy that is being sent through the quartz crystals in the Washington Oblast was built with. Now anchor the violet flame to transmute this energy at the base of the obelisk and through our crystal grid that continually transmute any out of balance energy back to light. See all energy veils is keeping people from seeing the nuclear meltdown at Fukushima, Japan being lifted. As people awaken, they also become aware of the nuclear meltdown in Fukushima and start taking action. Let the divine ideas flow and come to the surface and how to correct the situation. And let this be given to many people who will share their ideas with others. See the Japanese government stepping aside and letting knowledgeable people come in to take over the nuclear plant and be divine 
wildly inspired on how to correct and fix this nuclear challenge. We call to the cosmic beings for help with the radiation, either removing it from our planet or turning it into something that is beneficial for the planet and all life forms. So we're also going to create an invisible black hole over the nuclear meltdown and see the radiation now being sucked right off the planet like a vacuum cleaner being replaced with pure, clean, healthy air. Now, may divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. Now, you can chant this with me. You should know it. May divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. May divine enlightenment descend on everyone now. May divine enlightenment awaken within everyone now. All right, we're going to fill that up with light and love and take a deep breath and release it. So we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. So we're going to create another bubble of light. And in this bubble of light, we're going to put all the nuclear reactors in Japan. And I'm going to ask that everyone's energies are combined and joined into one large, powerful group. So I'm going to use the power of the spoken word and shout out this prayer as much as I can, um, which is actually using the power of the spoken word. So let there be light in the name of the presence of God, which I am through the magnetic power, the sacred fire vested in me. I command to call down from the creator, very heavy dirt energy to descend and entomb full circle all the nuclear reactors in Japan that are out of control, see them completely buried in this very heavy dirt energy. See this manifesting in the physical now. We cut all ties to all greed that is keeping this from happening. Now in your mind's eye and using the power of the spoken word, we call down divine heavy dirt energy to descend around all the nuclear reactors, completely burying them now, manifesting now into the physical. We call down Divine heavy dirt energy to descend down around all the nuclear reactors, completely burying them now, manifesting now into the physical. We call down heavy dirt energy to descend down around all the nuclear reactors, completely burying them now, manifesting now into the physical. On top of the dirt in your mind's eye, we're going to call down a divine layer of cement that's five foot thick. And then a five foot divine energy layer of lead on top of cement with another five foot divine energy layer of crystal on top of that to encapsulate it all now. We call down a divine energy layer of cement five foot thick, then a five foot divine energy layer of lead on top of the cement with another five foot divine energy layer of crystal on top of that to encapsulate it all now. One more time, we call down a divine energy layer of cement, five foot thick, then a five foot divine energy layer of lead on top of cement with another five foot divine energy layer of crystal on top of that to encapsulate it all now. And we're also, we see all the radiation now being contained and neutralized in this bubble of light we created. We anchor the violet flame under all the nuclear reactors, amplified over 100 million fold, to transmute all out of balance energy. All the elementals have taken on. As they feel the divine violet flame, the elementals calm down. We call the violet flame through everyone living in Japan and everywhere on the planet. That every cell atom molecule going all the way down into everyone's DNA. We ask their higher selves allow the violet flame to transmute any radiation they may have absorbed into their bodies, replacing that with their divine blueprint for perfect health, which is now activated. We ask that this be done for all life forms on the planet. We call the higher selves of all the Japanese people being affected and ask that they be divinely guided and actually everywhere on the planet. People are divinely guided to plant lots of hemp plants and mushrooms all over their island, all over the world, and sunflowers. We see the hemp and mushrooms and sunflowers growing all over Japan and the earth, pulling the radiation out of the air and land. 
And oh, creator, if there's anything else that neutralizes the radiation, please bring it to the minds and hearts of all open to receive and willing to share this knowledge freely. We see many people being given the answers now. So we send a very cold Arctic cooling energy through the dirt all the way down into the spent rods, lowering their temperatures to keep everything cool. Let's call the violet flame through the spent rods and ask that all the heat now reduces as the elementals lets their anger burn out through the violet flame and not in physical flame. As we reconnect all these elementals back to the creator, see them fill up with divine love now, command them to be neutral or only emit love. Now see everyone surprised and joyful over the news that the reactors are calming down and the repair people are divinely inspired on what to do to totally decommission them in ways the environment will not be hurt or harmed. We call again the violet flame through all the nuclear radiation in land, sea, and air asking that it burn out all that angry energy through the flame, neutralizing itself, becoming harmless. We ask that all veils that are keeping humanity from seeing the radiation challenge of Fukushima are removed from them. And as they're reconnected to the creator, becoming awake and conscious beings, they're given the divine solutions to solve the world's nuclear problems in love. We see all veils being removed from all the newspapers, TV, radio stations, news reporters, and TV anchors that were keeping them from speaking the truth. See everyone now talking about the nuclear challenge in Japan, including all schools, offices, colleges, as well as how to stay healthy. As people share information about Fukushima, see them being given many awesome divine solutions that are put into application. So we're gonna fill this up with light and love, and we're gonna take a deep breath and release it. We give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right. So we're going to do a little short one, and we're going to put the harp in a, a bubble of light. And the harp is, um, gosh, they have many of these stations, and they're weather modification stations. Um, so we're going to put all these weather modif modification stations in this bubble of light. So we call the Michael, the Archangel, Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, all the cosmic beings and the creator to cut all ties to all artificial plasma in the atmosphere that was harp reptilian created that creates a mirror. Now, as we cut the ties to their masters, we call the violet flame through all cells, atoms, molecules, DNA of the plasma to clean it up. Now we reconnect it all to the creator filling it all up with much divine love. We command it to be neutral and no longer function. See the plasma breaking up and neutralizing itself. Let it not be able to form any square or ring frequency patterns on the planet. We place a mirror in front of this mirror to return all signals and frequencies back to the harp stations. As this is done, we see all the harp equipment imploding on itself, all computers connected with the harp, overloading with this energy that we just sent back, causing many overloads. We command the elemental kingdom, the bees, snakes, flies, ants, birds, fleas, all bugs and molds, microorganisms to infest all the harp electronic equipment. We also cut the ties to the military buoys connected to the harp stations and their dark masters. We command that all these buoys be contained in a circle of cement with a lead overlay to jam all the frequencies, placing all those buoys in a position of harmlessness. As these harp facilities break down, we see all life forms reconnect to the creator, becoming awakened, spiritual, divine, happy beings. All right, fill this up with light and love, and let's take a deep breath and release it. And we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. Oh, how could we not complete this night without doing an energy circle for Trump and his family? So let there be light. We call the hot crystals in Washington, D.C. area to amplify light and transparency everywhere in the Capitol. We ask the creator to remove all energy overlays that is keeping the public from seeing all the unnecessary expenses 
that the Trump family is creating, that the public is paying for. See the mass general public demand Trump either stop going on as many vacation trips to any of his golf courses, including Mar-a-Lago, or pay for the trips themselves, no longer using taxpayer funds. And that goes for all his cabinet. We ask that all veils and overlays that are protecting Ivanka and her husband, Jared Kushner, from the public's eye are removed now. Let all their plans be brought to the surface in a way that Congress and the Senate take action and strip them of all the power they have been given by Donald Trump to replace with someone with international experience. Let them be given prison time for their treasonous actions. Remove all magical overlays of protection around Trump so there is complete transparency on how he sexually abuses women. Let's send energy to all those women Trump has sexually abused in the past and present, the energy they need to come forward to speak truth and be protected from Trump's followers. We call the higher selves of everyone in the United States to realize that Donald Trump and family are a national security threat. We ask that every American Republican and Democrat needs to demand that the representatives, judicial and elected, stand up and insist that the Trump administration be suspended or put on pause until questions are completely answered and satisfactorily to an independent investigative panel. Robert Mueller. And we want everything, all his ties to Russia be brought up. So let him be suspended from taking any more action, whether it's domestic or international. We're going to call to Michael the Archangel to remove all overlays of magic that is keeping the Congress and Senate from standing firm and putting Trump on presidential timeout and impeaching him and remove from office. See the Trump administration be suspended or put on pause, not being able to eliminate or put any new programs in action until all questions are answered and Trump shows his taxes. See all satanic magic that is keeping the Trumps in power be neutralized. See all overlays of magic removed from Trump and his family. It's time for Trump to be impeached and removed from office, replaced with a human light worker. So we're going to fill this up with light and love and take a deep breath and release it. All right, real quick, we're going to do a, another one, and this one's for Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan. Um, imagine them in this bubble of light. We call to McConnell and Ryan's higher self to help them step forward in the light. And if they choose not to, which is their free will, we ask their higher self and guardian angel to put them in a position of harmlessness. We surround them in bubbles of mirror that faces them two inches from their nose. And we add the violet flame to the bubble to transmute all dark energy. They put out so they have no forward movement. The bubble of mirror stays up 24-7, 365 days a year until they do works of good. And we ask that all their works be revealed so there is total transparency with everything they do. We ask that Michael the Archangel tie and bind all of McConnell's energy so they don't have any forward movement, nor can he block Robert Mueller or Trump from being impeached. We cut all ties to oaths and vows they have taken to Satan, the wealthy, and the Republican Party as that energy is removed from them. See them now being reconnected to the creator to become awakened spiritual beings who now want to do works of good with the desire to retire and spend more time with their family. And what they ask of these two, we're going to ask of all Republicans. We're going to ask that their higher selves help them reconnect to the creator so they become awakened spiritual beings that have heart and empathy and caring about the common person and not just rich, wealthy people. And we're going to ask them to step forward in the light and start doing works of good. And if they choose not to, which is their free will, we're going to ask their higher selves and guardian angels to put them in a position of harmlessness now, replacing them with a human being that's kind and loving and caring. All right, fill that up with light and love. We're going to take a deep breath and release it. 
So we give thanks for this opportunity to serve. All right, so we're gonna close the circle and do three ohms. And you can ohm with me, it's okay. If, if we were here around the big Earth Keeper crystal, my crystal would actually be harmonizing us all together. So come on, you can ohm with me. Om, 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 shanti, shanti, shanti. May all the beings in all the worlds be happy. So thank you, God Squad, for tuning in and doing this very wonderful um, selfless night of service for the earth and uh, all humanity. So we got the ground. Put your feet flat on the floor. And I want you to feel the earth energy come up. Your feet and up your ankles and your legs. And the higher it comes up, the more grounded you become. And with every breath, feel that earth energy come up higher and you're becoming more grounded, more back in body. Very, very clear headed, very, very centered. Now, if you're still a little um, lightheaded after the show, please go hug a tree. You know, put your hands on the tree and imagine yourself sending a lot of energy into the tree, your excess energy, and then ask the tree to send you energy back and you'll immediately ground. If you have the stone called um, hematite, that's going to help you ground. Um, if you have the stone lodestone, that also will help you ground. That's a little bit more magnetic, and I really like hematite beyond the two, but either one will work. You know, if you can get that, um, if you eat after the show, that helps you pull in body a lot more, you know, take a nice warm bath. But again, you know, if you're really lightheaded, Go find a tree outside, put your hands on the tree, send all your excess energy into the tree, then ask the tree to send you energy back and you'll ground. And that's really a nice um, exercise if you get really angry at people and you don't want to um, go off and really be verbal is to walk away and, you know, go find a nice tree and give all that energy to the tree. The tree, you now you're mutually beneficial. You know, the tree receives energy so it can grow, and then it gives you energy back so you can calm down. So thank you very much again for joining me tonight and um, doing this really wonderful evening of energy work. Probably going to do it again next week just to get things really going again. So go get your crystal and, you know, make sure you have your bottle of water so we can do energy and light work. And we might even do a little bit of chanting. Now, if you want to do more light work, tune into my Facebook page, Kathy Bilski. Monday, between 4.30 and 5 Hawaiian time. And that would be 10 to 10.30. Um, whoops, 10.30 to 11 um, Eastern time. But we're chanting and calling down divine enlightenment on the earth for a half hour. And I go live on Facebook to do that. And then Tuesday, it's Fukushima Tuesday, and we give our focus to the radiation, and I do radiation news, what I can find, and um, we do some energy work for specifically for the radiation. Thursday, same time, um, we do climate work, energy work for the climate, the North and South Pole, because whatever happens there affects everybody. And, you know, they're really stressed out and they, the earth needs a lot of energy. So I call this um, spiritual overtime. So if you really want to do service and, you know, you can tune in. Now, what's really cool about Facebook and, you know, doing the YouTube is that you can always come back to it later and play it again and listen to it and keep the energy going. Now, for those of you looking for any energy work, if you need curse removal or energy balancing, you can call me at my store in Hawaii at 808-775-9400. And I do the curse removal, energy balancing. And I also um, have known been known to do the um, soul retrieval. Now, that takes about an hour to do. 
And, you know, or you can come into the store and, and get it done that way and get some really personal experience. And I also do little free mini massages at the store with my angel light tools. So, again, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you really have a lovely week. And if you really want to do more energy work, you know, become my friend on Facebook and let me know, you know, if you're from the radio show. And, you know, all my work is public. So you don't actually have to become my friend. Um, and you can tune into it if you know that I'm going live around 4.30, between 4.30 and 5. And on that note, I'm going to say um, aloha. I think if I can figure out how to turn this Skype off. Um Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Okay, so this is something new. I'm doing this from my Kindle, and I don't know how to turn it off this way. How bizarre. So that's live radio for you, you know. Let's see, what if I do this? Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. I had a brilliant bubble moment. So on this note, I'm going to say good night and uh, 